Hey, it's Jason from Denon DJ. I'm here with Long and McQuaid, and we're looking at the Denon DJ MCX 8000. The MCX 8000 is our brand new standalone professional DJ player for Engine USB and Serato DJ. What's great about the 8000 is it supports both Serato DJ and Engine USB playback at the same time. So I could have one deck completely standalone with USB and the other could be a Serato DJ control deck. This is great for uh, DJ handoffs and also just having a USB backup or even taking the controller without a computer to a party and just using the USB device. So that is a really cool feature and the fact that you can go between it, both of them seamlessly is kind of a one, this is the first time. So the 8000 features a high resolution color display and we can set hot cues and there are also colored uh, indicators on the waveform and they match the performance pads. So there's lots of uh, buttons here for browsing and navigating through your tracks and preparing music. We ha also have dedicated onboard effects for when used with USB. We have the echo, a phaser, and a noise buildup. Uh, these effects are also available when it's used in line mode. So if you're using it with a turntable or a media player, you can also use these effects uh, with that input source. And it's, it's simple to switch between sources, as you can see on the channel strip. I'm on channel one, I can go from PC, so if I had my uh, computer connected here, you would see the Serato display, and I can look at engine, the standalone USB, or my line input. So going down the deck here, when used with engine and Serato, we've got our effects, we've got a uh, needle drop for touch strip for searching quickly through the track, we've got a five and a half inch touch capacitive platter with an LED ring for uh, tracking your position, a long throw 100 millimeter fader, pitch bend buttons, a auto loop and manual looping section, and then over here are our performance pads which are velocity sensitive. With engine we have Q, rolls, and a 4B auto slicer. When you use the uh, performance pads with uh, Serato DJ, that opens up more features. So you can have control over slicer, sampler, velocity sampler, and even a brand new key performance pad mode which is exclusive to the 8000 right now. We also have our, over to the right, there are transport controls, uh, beat grid buttons, vinyl, and then deck layering. So we're on deck one, we can go now go to deck three and switch the layer. So th that's kind of an overview of the, uh, the deck controls. Let's take a look at the mixer on the 8000. So you notice that we have a large amount of room here to mix. It's very comfortable, it's a spacious layout, and we have control over four audio sources with a uh, level and three band EQ on each channel strip, as well as an onboard dedicated hardware filter. Q assignments for your headphone, and then a left right assignment for your crossfader. Uh, on the left of the mixer, we feature a uh, microphone inputs for mic one and mic two, with an echo amount, and the echo, echo can be applied to either mic one or mic two, or both. You can also turn off the microphones by pressing the mic on button and then we have a feature of the talk over, which kind of ducks the music um, below your voice when you're speaking. And then a post, which takes your voice out of the booth monitor. To the right of the mixer, we have our booth monitor controls. Or I'm sorry, the uh, master control. Then below that are the booth, booth level, and a dual band EQ for adjusting your booth. Sometimes you'll be set up in a club or a uh, bar, and the, the PA in the bar just isn't cutting it. So you might want to tweak that sound a little bit with the uh, booth EQ, which is a nice feature. Uh, below that are, uh, is our sampler volume, the crossfader link for Serato DJ, and then some headphone queuing. The, uh, the right deck is, is pretty much mirrored of what we saw on deck one for decks two and four. So let's take a look at the rear panel, and I'll show you some of the I.O. and the MCX 8000. So starting from the, the left here, we've got our power switch, power input, a high retention USB 2.0 port, a USB hub to PC, so this will free up the hub, uh, the, the port used by the MCX 8000, giving you additional uh, input for a uh, external hard drive or an additional controller. We've got our balanced XLR booth outputs, balanced XLR master, a stereo to mono switch, unbalanced output for our master, and then four line level inputs for uh, external devices uh, with lines three and four um, can be switched to phono and line, so you can use those with DVS and Serato DJ. Our mic two and mic one input, mic two is a quarter inch, and mic one is a combination, so it accepts XLR and quarter inch. 
a Kensington lock slot and a uh, stage link Ethernet connection there. And what that will do is that sends all of the information played from the MCX-8000, including your uh, active state, active deck, your tempo and pitch adjustments, and that sends it to a video rig, and it will trigger um, lighting, pyrotechnics, and all kinds of video. So thanks for stopping by and checking out the MCX-8000, uh, and it will be available in a few months. Thanks, guys.